Good morning, Coach Biker here and given the weather conditions and family events <laughs> not there'll be many of them this year responsibilities I should say this will probably be my last ride before Christmas and probably for the whole of 2020 Just filled it with fuel, took 8.33 litres for 95 miles. So I have to work that out, it doesn't seem too bad. Really haven't been able to ride this bike at all since I got it. But uh, just going to nip out, see a few fields and uh, talk about my seat concepts, low seat. So while I trundle along this road, I'll um, go over the process of acquiring a seat concept seat in the UK because it's not quite as straightforward as it might appear if you go on the website it will say $299 so that's quite expensive well it's very expensive even if you were to walk into a shop and hand over your $299 I don't know what that is in pounds probably 250 quid kind of double the cost of any seat that you would buy over here so if you're an upholsterer you can get it upholstered the uh, stock seat yourself I'd recommend doing that if you feel it needs changing and the stock seat itself it's not as bad as people make out certainly okay for an hour at a time which is what I tend to do if I go anywhere I ride for an hour get off for a bit five minutes get my brains unscrambled and then get back on the bike so Possibly it would have been okay, but after an hour I definitely did feel that it was uh, not so much firm, just narrow, you know, which is the style of the bike. But as I've said it many times, I'm going more for the adventure conversion of this bike than leaving it as an enduro, which I know annoys some people, but I just need a lightweight bike that I can go uh, motorway miles on, so that's basically my rationale for it. I live at the end of a motorway, so to go anywhere, generally, you have to hit the motorway. So, very, very pleased with this bike. Actually, I love it. So, it's gradually coming together. There's quite a lot of things I want to do to it, but um, as we can't ride much at the moment, there's no rush. I have my plans. Would you like to know what they are? Haha, -ha, I'm not telling you. <laughs> you have to come back and check. So the seat's concept seat, $299 on the website. That's your first hurdle, so you pay your $299. Then, shipping to the UK, I think, was something like another $99. Another 75, 80 pounds, so that's quite a lot of money, just for shipping that is. And then, you have to wait for them to make it, because they always have a, a lead time on them. Basically because they're so popular, which is, you know, a good sign, you get a quality item, it does work, it does what it says, but uh, because of that you have to wait. And all in all, I think it took about seven weeks for it to arrive, and when you pay your money, you get an email to say they'll let you know when it's shipped, and then you don't hear anything, and you get a bit nervous. Then one day I got an email to say that it was on its way, I can't remember with which uh, courier, but it was an international courier, it said it'd be with me in about three or four days, and I received the tracking and all the rest of it, all fine and dandy, but then, as we are the UK, and this is going to become more and more prevalent uh, if the future political situation doesn't resolve itself, you have duties to pay, VAT, tariffs and uh, there's always seems to be an admin fee that appears from somewhere now I can't remember off the top of my head I will try and find the uh, emails but in the end you end up paying over 400 pounds for a very nice seat indeed but is it worth 400 pounds I would suggest not as much as I love it could quite easily have just carried on riding on my old seat just 
stop every hour to do anyway, I probably would have noticed. But I did buy this seat for one other reason. If you followed the uh, vlogs at all, um, you'll know that I installed a one inch Kubelink. You can't put the one and five eighth inch Kubelink on this bike without uh, some drastic modification. I was told this by Kubelink themselves. So they recommended the one inch, which drops it a little bit more than one inch on this particular bike. That's what I put on it. That is very good. Bike seems exactly the same as always. I did lower the forks by 20 mil at the front. Everything seems good. But I thought, well, a little bit low wouldn't do any harm. And apparently the low seat claims to drop the bike by another nine sixteenths of an inch. So I, I don't know what that is, about 15 millimetres. So another 15 millimetres lower. So overall, and I get this wrong every time I try and work it out, but I reckon I've lowered the bike where I sit by about 45 millimetres. That's perfect for me. It's a very light bike, and get me feet flat down, that's fine. So it's just a bit of insurance. I rode the bike for a while without having any modifications to the height at all, it was fine. Stock seat, stock suspension. Oh, what I remember, thank you Telly Rover and Deacon if you're watching. I did watch Teller over in Deacon and uh, I looked at how they adjusted, he adjusted his suspension for the comfort setting. So I've changed the rear sort of suspension on my bike to comfort setting. I haven't really noticed any difference so far, but then I've just been on road, so uh, we'll find out. I've left the front as it is, the front set for standard. But uh, thanks to Teller Rover and thanks to the uh, stock seat, there is a mistake, I think, in the user manual for the front suspension setup. So if you ever change the front suspension setup, I really would recommend you watch Tally Rover's video. Or check the numbers under the stock seat, because they seem to be the accurate ones. So I decided on the lower seat, Seat Concepts low seat. Now that has some good points in that it's wider at the back so you can slide back as I have done at the moment and um, get your butt cheeks nicely caressed. Lovely. Makes the seat feel a lot wider than it really is. And when you want to put your feet down you can sort of slide forward because it's narrow and it dips in and you can easily reach the floor. The one tiny gripe with that is the same as the 790 Adventure really is that where the seat is low it puts your legs where the foot pegs are. So you've got to be careful because the foot pegs push your legs out and you don't really gain as much as you could. You know, because if your legs further out then you're reaching out around the pegs which is not always very comfortable. You get used to it. I must admit I haven't noticed it today. I did notice it the first couple of times I went out. And then I'm just going to get on and do a bit of riding. Ah. Well, I would, but there's like sort of a traffic jam. Oh dear. Oh dear me. The traffic is jammed up. Morning, Fields. Oh. Winter wheat. Well done. Nice to see. Oh, look at this. Last time I came out here, everything had just been ploughed. Look at it now. Beautiful field. Well done. Try not to get quite so waterlogged this year if you can help it. Yeah, I know it's not your fault, but you know, think drainage. Morning pond, you flooded lately? No? Nice one. Have a look at the old motorway. See how you're doing. Morning motorway. Oh yeah, quite busy. Now one question I do get asked is uh, what's that bike like for vibrations with being a single cylinder? I always give the same answer. After having ridden the 390 Adventure which is a single cylinder bike and expecting that to be, you know, really vibrating, I found it wasn't too bad. And so I kind of decided I'd like to go back to a single cylinder but I didn't really want to go down to a 390 yet. Then I saw that they 
applied the same balancer technology on this uh, bike thought well I'll go for it and I have to say I found it to be not too bad at all I mean obviously not quite as smooth as a twin it's not far off oh here you are van pulls out straight in front of you cheers Yeah, well, one thing's for sure when I get back, Wolfgang's going to need a wash. A lot of mud about. Gravel. Soaking wet roads. I bet these have frozen overnight. Oh, here's a Christmas truck. Got his Union Jack on it. Has he got his lights on? I suppose you'd have to come up at night to see that, but we'll have a look. Oh. He's got his bunting and he's got his uh, flag on it. Can't see any lights, but perhaps they go on at night. Well, I've come down here because I want to see my old friend to Topfield as I call him. Going down to Topfield to have a look at Topfield. My favourite field around here because it's open and you look I could just ride in there obviously not going to but a uh, oh, bit of a bog but uh, whoa bit of a bog but the wheat's coming up I presume it's wheat whatever the winter crop is but yeah, it's very boggy and soft, but um, big field, uh, the top field's growing. As I say, I've been riding for quite a while um, and you can see the way the seat concept seat looks like from the side and that it goes down and up a bit a little bit banana like but uh, I've raised the handlebars by 20 mil and the seat has reduced it a little bit so it just lifts your hands up a little bit higher as well it should change your body position so as you can see there's quite a lot of mud and dirt the exhaust filthy off the road so when I get back I'll have to give this a wash and put it away for Christmas I think so uh, enjoying it so the seat you can see this comes along and then it goes out so when you sit here when you're on the road you've got quite a lot of support when you want to reach the ground you slide forward and you lower down so you can reach the ground and it's quite narrow just as the stock seat is so kind of the best of both worlds I don't know why KTM don't offer one it is a beautiful day Cold or not. <laughs> oh, field. What you had in there then? You had maize as well, have you? You got a lot of stalks. Hmm. Now you're going to get rid of those, because they'll grind them down at some point. Wolfgang Amadeus 690. Right. I'm going to ride some more. I'm going to call that a day for now. Um, in terms of talking to you I will say have a great Christmas thank God 2020 is nearly gone and uh, I'll be back in the new year 2020 is out